Armed Corps Law, Maximilian Thermidor. A realist, a man who wanted to change the world, or a puppet being played by corporations for their own needs. This is Maximilian Thermidor. History. The history of Maximilian is not straightforward, thanks to the fact that this man held two identities during the time of Armoured Corps for answer. His first not being Maximilian, but Obstava, the number one collard rank lynx. As such, let us start there, as this is who Strayed would meet first. This lynx is reported to have originated from the Raelian Art Corporation before its fall during the Lynx War, which led him either to seek employment from Omer Science, or maybe like an asset he was brought like many of the scientists of the Fallen Corporation. Which one, however, does not play a huge role, as what is important is that in the ten years between Armoured Corps 4 and Armoured Corps for answer, Ostava would make his home on the battlefield, turning himself into a skilled lynx that would lead him to become Omir's trump card with one of their own nexts. Sadly, there are no reports of this time period to look back upon, However, it is fair to speculate that Ostava may have been one of the many to help Omir gain its strong leadership role within the League, with his skills alone showing off the power Omir had behind it and as a threat to anyone who dared challenge the corporation. However, what is interesting to note here is that at this time it seems Omer's own top links began to become distant from his corporation sponsor, as he never helps with any missions and complains if he is forced to do a regular mission with Strayed, saying he is not here to babysit. Confident and cocky, and taking a whopping 60% of the payments, along with the payments for any damage to his machine as a consort, it's almost like he does not want to be hired, as if he is trying to stay out of fights he does not see as worth it. Either way, should even stray higher this lynx, the pair will not meet again until the League or Linarch's request to deal with White Glint. Should Stray choose to aid the League, the Lynx will team up with Ostava either again or for the first time, as the League believes White Glint cannot be taken out by a single next, and they will send their best to make sure this rebellious group's ace is put down. In battle, Ostava seems to know a lot about White Glint and their operator, even calling them out as the people who brought down the colony of Anatolia. This would point to him being around at the time of Armoured Corps 4 with such knowledge. However, we also must doubt this, as it is fair to say that any corporation would have kept records on people of interest, or threats. As such, there is nothing to say this Lynx was not briefed on his foe. With these thoughts in mind, watching the battle between White Glint, Strayed, and Ostava, anyone can see that Omir's trump card seems to talk a lot, claiming to have surpassed the silly legend and how he would prove this today. This, however, turns out not to be the case, as the two engage in a one-on-one -on -one fight, away from Strayed, it's over the radio that Strayed hears this. Think. What are you fighting for? Main booster malfunction. Is that what you were aiming for? I've hit the water. Boosters won't engage. Hull breach. Damn it, I'm taking on water. No, I can't go down here. Not now. A precise attack on the main booster of his foes next. Ostava states that his foe managed to hit this shot and is sent to a watery grave when his boosters won't engage when he hits the water. It's here then officially, according to the reports of the League, that the number one Lynx and the ace of Linarch would die, seeming to put a nail into the coffin of Linarch, as the League would put down another resistance to their power. Yet from these lost souls it seems a new power would rise, Orca, and at its head would be a man named Maximilian Thermidor, a passionate believer in his cause, and a charismatic leader. Though the face of this man is never seen, he speaks for Orca and seems to be respected among the ranks of the group, as even before his appearance we can hear that Orca members await his return before they can begin. If you wish to know more about Orca and their goals, there is already a report you may view over yourself. However, since this report focuses on Maximilian, to put it simply, the man was following the closed plan, an idea thought up by Raelianard to blast themselves a path to space through the blockade of corporate space weapons orbiting the Earth. In truth, he seems to be the driving force behind the plan, being the one to give straight should the mercenary choose to join Orca his missions, and can often be heard talking to his second in command about the next steps of the plan. However, it's here where history tends to become blurred for Maximilian, as the man either retains this name and position Orca if Strayed chooses to go independent with Windy and fight Orca to stop the closed plan. Yet, should Strayed stay loyal to Orca, and go on the final mission sent to him by Maximilian. Then after the defeat of two independent links, Windy and Roy, then suddenly Strayed is attacked by Ostava, who is quick to say this. The man called Thermidor has already passed. The man standing before you is rank one, Ostava. 
It's this single moment that has had many researchers and links wonder why. There is no clear reason to as to why he would do this. Of course, there are theories like Maximilian suffers from multiple personality disorder, others say he could not stand there and let someone else be the hero of the plan he made happen, and some will point to the man being a double agent, a pawn set up by Omir to draw out the elements they could not control and then crush them. In the end, we may never know the answer to this turn on his fellow Orca member, as in the end, the return of the cocky other personality of Maximilian is put down by Strayed in a final battle between them. Still, this is not the only time we see the Orca leader switch back to being a starver, as should Strayed join Old King in committing mass murder by falling cradles, he will come back as the cocky number one Lynx as part of a team of five Lynx sent by the League to take down the two. He outrightly admits to knowing about Orca, as he says should he defeat Strayed, you reap what you sow, this is for sullying Orca's name. This change is much more clear, as Strayed and Old King have made Orca look worse than any terrorist group before pushing the League, who also had dealings with the clothespan to now take action, forcing their hand. In the end, to say Maximilian was a complicated man would be no lie, if that was his real identity. As for all we know, perhaps Maximilian was the fake personality all along, while the cocky Omir Lynx was the real one, and that is why he went back to it so many times. Still, before we move on to talk about the next of this complicated man, a little bit of real world history where perhaps this man's name came from. Starting with Maximilian Thermidor, he is stated to be based off Maximilian Francois Marie Isidore de Robespierre, who was a French lawman and statesman who became one of the best known and most relential figures of the French Revolution. As a member of the Constitute Assembly and the Jacobin Club, he campaigned for universal manhood suffrage. In 1791, Rosenpierre was elected as public accuser and became an outspoken advocate for male citizens without public vote, for their unrestricted admission to the National Guard, to public offices, for the right to petition and the right to bear arms in self-defence. He played an important part in the agitation brought about the fall of the French monarch on the 10th of August 1792 and the summoning of the National Convention. His goal was to create a France equal before the law and defend the principles of direct democracy. However, what would this lead to is the Thermidorian reaction, which was a revolt in the French Revolution against the excesses of the reign of terror, which this man was part of. It was triggered by a vote of the Committee of Public Safety to execute him along with other leaders of the reign of terror. This occurred on the date Night Thermidor, or the 27th of July, 1794. With that little history lesson out of the way, let us now take a look at this Link's Nexts, Unsung and Stasis. Starting with Stasis, this is an Omir made type La Haya Next, a craft with an overall intermediate to high performance in most areas, including speed, firepower, and generally is a craft that lives up to being rank 1. To be more in depth, however, Stasis is still a La Haya Next at heart, as such, our Links can expect the craft to still share the same design ideas as the O3 Ala. High power boosters with a corresponding high output generator, an FCS with relatively high lock on speed, and a quick radar refresh rate for close quarters combat, as well as its bad points, including the limitations of the in blue FCS by having low ECM resistance, a short range, and poor overall capability with missile weaponry. That said, however, Stasis is no factory model and has been tuned fully in the areas of energy output, energy capacity, KP output. Primal Armor recertification in the core, arms and legs, quick boosts on its side boosters, and the stability of the craft's legs. All this makes Stasis quite the agile and heavy energy use craft, which will speed about the battlefield like lightning flashing across the sky. That said, however, before a Lynx hops into Stasis for a thrilling speed ride, it should be noted that like with most necks, Stasis cannot be handled with heavy trigger hands. It requires a Lynx to balance out shots from its energy bazooka, hovering and quick boosting to allow the Nex to keep fighting, otherwise Stasis will have to rely on hiding behind objects and firing off shots to allow for its energy recovery to kick in. Speaking of weapons, Stasis comes with three, the AR-0700 Assault Rifle, the ER-0705 Laser Rifle and the MP-0901PM Missiles. Each one offers Stasis a wide range of tactics, with the AR-0700 offering a good solid ballistic damage output and a rate of fire allowing this to be a primary weapon and a lifesaver should a Lynx run out of energy and need to keep their foe at bay during recharge. The ER-0705 laser rifle, though more like a laser bazooka, is quite the damage dealer too. 
However, it needs to be close to really hit home as such middle range firing is not advised, unless a lynx is confident in their aim, otherwise they are wasting shots and are draining energy. Finally, the MP0901 PM missiles. These are great to keep next on their toes as avoiding them is no easy task, and even if the damage of these missiles only chips away at the next health, they are able to set up some nice clear shots for other weapons. It's a fast craft and with its loadout a lynx can hold their own. But this is just one of this man's crafts, as next we have Unsung. Based around Alicia frame and utilising her mere parts, this next feels like a true war machine when you pilot it. Slow, heavy and has all the firepower you need to rain down on your foes. It's a treat to simply start up this craft. This is all thanks to its heavy Raynard SO8 Maxwell generator. It ensures Unsung has enough energy to combat the plasma cannon's massive energy drain and use the laser bazooka without the worry of becoming an oversized paperweight. It also helps that unlike Stasis, Unsung embraces its close combat style, which will pay off in the next no matter the foe. Unsung is also tuned the same way as Stasis, however there is less focus in primal armor recertification on areas such as the legs and arms. Yet with all this praise, there is downsides to Unsung, the first being is it is not able to hold its own weight which will cut its speed in half and can only be fixed by changing parts. Another big weakness to the Unsung is its 04 Alicia legs, which makes this next always want to leap up. There is no middle ground with these legs, as it's either walking or leaping into the air like a spring. But finally we come to the weapons of Unsung, including Omir's ER0700 laser bazooka, which like I said with Stasis, requires to be close to hit. But with how Stasis is, this is a perfect fit. Next is a Raylinard 04 Marv large caliber assault rifle, again a great combo, that if used with the laser bazooka will have not much trouble taking down nexts. An Omia made PM0901 quadruple vertical PM missile launcher, which I admit I rarely use, but again like Stasis it's better used to lure nexts into a good spot to blast them or clean up packs of MTs and normals. And finally an advocate built Trezor lightweight plasma cannon. This cannon is the big armor point taker. Get a shot and any foe will feel it. And as said with the huge generator and tuning energy, there is no fear of this cannon leaving unsung without energy and make short work of any next foolish enough not to avoid it. So here we reach the end, the life and death of Maximilian, his next and a bit of history of where his name may have come from. The life of the orca leader may have all been a lie, a tale spun by Ostava or maybe it was the other way around. Nevertheless, in the end, he would be the villain in all roots, taken down by Strayed and pay with his life every time. Here ends the report on Maximilian Thermidor. Here is the mission. A special Orca arms fort has been identified in the Old Clark area. We want you to take it out.